What's up math fans? I'm sure you've seen my video on using the distributive property to solve equations and actually another video that's linked to this one is subtracting polynomials. So if you understand how to subtract, you understand how to multiply by a negative and you'll understand what we're doing here when we distribute. So here solving equations by distributing just the negative. So what happens is um, you see something like this and people get overwhelmed because they see a minus sign here but they kind of ignore it and they start to distribute what they see outside because they learned the distributive property. But what's outside here is not an x. The x comes into the game later. What's outside is just a negative one. All right, and the same thing going on over here. So you should be comfortable with multiplying by negative one. And negative one is really just saying opposite. In English, it's negative one means the opposite. So here, I'm saying what's negative one times five? I'm really saying what is the opposite of five? Well, that's negative five. And you should know that the opposite of a negative number would bring you back to a positive number. Opposites is just means change the sign. All right, so what's the opposite of 12 minus x? What is negative times 12 minus x? Well, I'm distributing that negative sign or that opposite. So the opposite of 12 is negative 12, and then the opposite of a negative x or a minus x, because a negative and a minus behave the same way, um, is a positive x. So that is the answer to number two. You're just changing the signs. People seem to forget this second part. That's why I'm making a big deal about it. They say, ooh, opposite of 12, and they change it, and then they never go over here. They don't distribute to the whole thing. If you plan on having kids, if you give one candy to one kid, you better give one candy to all your kids, or else people are gonna be jealous. It's the same thing with the distributive property. You gotta give out that opposite sign to all the terms that are inside the parentheses. All right, so now over here, I need the opposite of both terms. So I'm gonna just drop down the x because that'll come in later. We're not distributing the x, we're only distributing the negative or the negative one. So negative times 12 is negative 12. Negative times negative x, well, that's positive x. That's the opposite. And then the equals 38 drops down. Hopefully you've learned something in another video called combining like terms. So I'm gonna see if I have any. Oh, look, I do, I have an x. And another x, x plus x, two, they're both positive, so that's gonna give me two x. And then the minus 12 and the equals 38 drops down. And now brings us right back to the classic video called two-step equations, where I add 12. And I get uh, 50, and then I divide by two, and x equals 25. All right, so that's basically it. Try this one on your own and then stick around, I'll do it with you. So here, same thing, I can put the one here, but I don't need it, it's implied, and I'm distributing. So I'm distributing a negative one or just negative, all right? So 10x will come down later. It's, it's not, you're not distributing the 10x. You know how many times I keep seeing people go, ooh, 10 times three is 30, right? No, no, you're only changing the signs. So that's a minus three x, and then people jot down the minus 11, that's another mistake that I see a lot. You're being selfish if you don't distribute it to both terms. So the opposite of 11, uh, negative 11 is positive 11. So I switch is here and then the 17 drops down. Again, I wanna see if I have any like terms and I do. So I'm gonna combine them. This X's are on the same side. So you do what it says. A lot of people think, oh, I have to do inverse. No, not when they're on the same side. So 10X minus 3X, whatever it says to do is what you do. It says subtract, you subtract, you get 7X plus 11 drops down and we are right back to our classic two-step equation. This is instinctive by now. We subtract 11 and what do we get? Six. Oh no, a fraction's coming, a decimal, I'm scared. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna divide by the coefficient and whatever I see is my answer. So write what you see. I see six over seven, I write six over seven. All right, remember that, write what you see. It's actually also helpful when you're doing literal equations. So that's pretty much the entire first unit of algebra. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.